Good afternoon, all. We're running a few minutes behind. My apologies. It's 4.36 p.m. on uh, December 13, 2023. Uh, I've had a crazy day. That was not just it was FOMC. I had a very tough day trading yesterday. I was way ahead. Uh, they pulled me back in. Uh, uh, Romans can relate to this. This is Godfather 3 in the kitchen, the scene. When he thought he was done, they pulled him back in. So I ended up being having a bad day yesterday. And then uh, I had a couple of meetings in the afternoon for myself. Uh, my birthday is coming. I got to look decent. And I looked like a hippie. I had to get a haircut. And then uh, Tico had a spa day. As he comes out of the spa, he smells a little bit. He just came out of the spa. He always smells incredible when he comes out of the spa. They said maybe he's got an infection. Smelled like a little bit of blood, maybe. And boy, that threw me a monkey wrench. Didn't sleep much last night. It has never happened with him. I was scared and didn't know what to do. My sister calls in from California and says, it's okay, dogs have ear infections. Uh, it, it's okay, it was around his ear. Anyhow, this morning we got up early, went there, we were first there at uh, 15 minutes early at his vet hospital up north on uh, Immokalee, uh, and uh, it turned out to be nothing, false alarm. He's actually fine. They checked both ears. They they did a CBC panel on his blood. Everything is perfect, actually. It's probably the best he has been ever. Uh, so last time I, I made him a, uh, what do you call it? Made a run on the way back to Whole Foods, got him a big piece of steak, ribeye, throwing a bunch of, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, Irish butter over it, and he ate it like there was no tomorrow. I figured he needs some energy. Um, hi, Mosen. How are you? Michael, sorry about the issue at the beginning. We didn't have the audio. Anyhow, long and short of it, I came back here and uh, sat here hunting from like 11.30 on. Didn't touch it. I promised myself, not going to touch this market until we get close to the action time. So of course, that action time came. I had, uh, let's see, I had one short, no, one long, two shorts, and then three, four longs. Seven to eight, 2.36%. I made up for all of yesterday minus the commission. And 2.36% is not a small jump change on a large account. So we did very well today, but man, yesterday was literally, I was in the dumps. Anyhow, I'm glad you guys are here. Um, Next week is uh, 20th. Yeah, that's fine. Next week is good. So we'll roll this thing to uh, 20th. But 27th, we're going to take a, a week off, weekend off. Why? Why? Uh, typically, FOMC meeting mid-December is the last of volatility uh, that we can really uh, plan on. Uh, and uh, the way uh, Jeffrey Gunlock of uh, Double Line left it today. I recorded that. That's something you really want to watch. He he comes on only uh, six, seven times a year after each FOMC. Massively right over time. Uh, not 100%, but nobody's 100% right. But great analysis that uh, he thinks the bonds will continue to rally and the stocks will kind of fall off. By the way, we're way up there. We're way, 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 way up there. And today we're at 4,700. We're going to go over that in a bit. Uh, we also see that uh, uh, we did 199,000 last month in the uh, 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 non-farm. And you could see that why the most powerful man in the world is not at the Oval. It's actually at the Temple, which is what we call the Fed office in the Fed building in the, in Washington. is uh, Jerry uh, Powell. Um, he managed to get us, uh, remember 20th, March 23rd, 2002? I'm sorry, 2000? He stepped in when nobody was even ready to do anything. They never think it's going to be that bad. This is two weeks before, though. No, this is three weeks before that massive layoff. Yeah, or two weeks before. When, not, when the, the Fed, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, job, another jobs report. Um, um, what do you call it? What is it that we have on Thursdays? We have tomorrow. Jobless claims hit negative 20 million. In the history of US, we've never had that. Negative 20 million. 
We've had 700,000 when Bush was leaving and Obama was coming in, uh, I think in January of uh, 2009, but never had 20 million. He stepped in two weeks before. And because there was so much back and forth problems in, at, the, uh, uh, at the Capitol, he came in on a white horse and said, we're going we're to save this economy. Now, he creates some inflation for us, but he's now taking inflation out without layoffs. Look at that. We thought a bunch of it were going to be laid off. Uh, that's only That pain is something, a price to pay for saving the economy three years before. And uh, he, if he pulls this off, it looks like he may be, um, I, I want him to, to really deserve his job. He's done an incredible job of doing this. So, anyhow, the side, side problem with that is that we have had a big run-up. If you look at the treasuries, you could see what I'm talking about. Look at that drop in the yields. Okay? These are huge. I mean, we work almost four, four handle on the 10-year. The ten year. So uh, the bond rally will continue. Um, I wonder how much more the stocks will continue. So it's probably in a day or two, you're going to see my other short. Every day in the chat room, I've said, today's the day. looks like I want to make the short here. Uh, to do it, not change my bias, but my time and digest. No, I'm already short. I'm already in trouble. I understand that. But I was going to put another short trade out via a put spread. Uh, we're getting very close to that. And uh, here's why three sigma. And if you recall near the close, 4707, I posted. If you click here, you'll see it's now 4710. So we, we, we basically hit three sigma. Rarely, rarely SPX at the three sigma. There'll be a pullback of some amount, not to say big, but some amount. I could see us going back to 4,600, you know, probably 100 points pullback. And then, then, then the new normal begins. But right now, we've just gone way, way too far. Too many shorts got killed here today. But such is the deal. I mean, I was long uh, uh, majority of time. Five trades out of seven I was long today. Two of them were shorts. They were all within an hour. So I made 2.36% on a, on a fairly large account, seven digits. Uh, and started at 201, closed at 256. In 55 minutes, I made 2.36%. Am I exhausted? You betcha. Especially after this uh, scare uh, uh, issue with... Uh, with Admiral Tico. But he's fine, and uh, we're going to take care of him. Thank you for coming in here. Let's go over Econ Calendar. In terms of um, this, I was very lucky. It was very nerve-wracking. You have no idea. Yeah, But I had no choice. After yesterday, I had no choice. So, you know, I usually I trade five, seven, ten contracts at a time of NQ. I was sitting 25 at a time because it was running so fast. And that's how you make the big money. You've got to just be in the zone and block out everything else, have some coffee, watch, watch the indicators, watch the chart, and make sure you're, you got good batteries in your, in my, in your mouth. I, I did that one time ago, a while back. The battery went bad. And I've got plenty of battery here. But today I even had two extra batteries in front of me. So I didn't even have to leave the desk. Yeah. Anyhow, uh, Bottom line is, uh, really, if you look at the CPI and PPI combo, let's look at that one more time. You could see we had very, very slight movement on the month-to-month, -month, but year-to-year -year came in line, and so did the X food and energy. That was on CPI side on Tuesday. Today, we had even better data. Now, I missed that because I had to be in the car at the time. I had to be wheels up before 8.30. This is called Tico One, but he's on board. Yeah, when, I'm, when I'm driving, my call sign is PDI, for dumb immigrant. When Tico comes online, the call sign changes to Tico 1. We know Tico 1 has to be wheels up by 8.30. Otherwise, we won't make the appointment. Now, you know, I have a long drive to get to uh, 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 North Naples area. But look at it here. We even went below the consensus. So, and remember, this column gets flash reported on CNBC, but doesn't show up here until a couple of minutes later. We keep on hitting refresh, refresh to see if it shows up, because you want more detail, not just the headline number, but it, it's below consensus on the actual 
uh, on a month to month. And of course, if you get month to month on the expert energy 0 0.200. Uh, and then with trade services came in line. Very, very good report. And then with that background, FOMC met, and uh, I think this was a given. Now, he also talked very, very uh, calm, collected, gave a signal that they are done. I don't believe they are. I believe we're going to have this inflation come back up a little bit in, in, into this coming year. But that's a far from here. That's probably uh, Q2. And Q2 probably going to see that they may have to tighten up a little bit. The other, uh, uh, I think, in my opinion, my humble opinion, recipient of all this is uh, uh, the rents are coming down. Uh, the pressure on the uh, also purchases are going to come down, the values. Um, and so you're going to have a more stabilized real estate market, which is all good. Uh, I don't think we can keep up GDP. Then going back to gun luck, this GDP of 5% is not going to happen. 4%, I don't know. He's talking about 1% next year. So you're going to have a lot of volatility next year. I'm very happy for Orb. Orb should be doing much better. You know, we, we don't do well when the volatility is low. That's, uh, you know, it's opening range breakout. So it's looking for volatility, especially early in the day. Another housekeeping item, we, we, as, we, as we reported with you before, version 4.96 adds an additional exit. It has to do with the DMZ cross. Uh, we were almost done in our search for the ultimate solution or fairly good solution, if you, if you will. And then my machine crashed. The data was coming in so fast. Remember, these machines are now running CL, which is crude oil, bonds, and NASDAQ. The rate of the data coming in in the midst of the, uh, the chairman's uh, 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 press conference was so hard and so fast that the uh, or one of our bigger machines that runs like a shark crashed. So on uh, that machine, I was running the 4.96, uh, 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 what do you call it, uh, test. You know, the, 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 the what do you call it, the, uh, the release candidate for 4.96. You know, we lost some data, but I recovered some after I got out of the trade here because I, you know, I was done by three. Uh, he spoke another 15 minutes. I learned my lesson from yesterday. Uh, greed is okay, but too much greed is bad. Stop where you are. Let's go to the next day. So I tried to recover this. In the recovery, I isolated some of the solutions that were bad. I dumped it out, started a new uh, back test without those. So it dramatically reduced the number of searches I got to do. Remember, it's a solution space. That's multidimensional. So you got a bunch of stuff running there for various parameters of the orb. And so uh, now it looks like we got four more hours to go. Uh, earlier, it was projecting that uh, it'll be finished by four. Yeah, it was actually very close to be finished when this thing crashed. But we had to also dump the data, clean the data, and come back in. So that was a, that was another recovery mode. Anyhow, uh, so we should, where was that put us? What's the conclusion? 4.96 should be out. I'd say uh, next week this time, okay? The key guy that I work with him on the, some of the programming area uh, is out of town. He's in Chicago, uh, and uh, uh, he won't be back until Sunday. Uh, we won't have this thing ready on Monday. No, one day is not enough. But I have a bunch of tests I've done. I want to share that with him. But sometime next week, 4.96 goes out. Now, volatility should probably be fairly low, between now and year end, so really the push doesn't matter. It's uh, uh, incidental. Uh, but uh, hi, Anita. How are you? Welcome. And then, uh, so we'll we'll have it ready for uh, for for January. Okay. Now we also found an error in the, when we were reporting our ORB. We found an error and uh, we fixed it. Nancy actually found it. Remember, we caught up from the data. I'll have to send a note out on that. Uh, we, we, we caught up on data that was man missing from, uh, um, uh, what's his name? From um, um, from Fox slash Marshall, uh, uh, Marshall Free, the fellow who allows us to use his statements from Trade Station, actual fields to see where we are. Uh, we put in three months of data in one night. 
back in August, September, October. No, four months. Almost four months. Because we were not in December yet, but we were toward the very end of November. So three and a half months, almost four months we put in. There were three errors. Uh, and they were negative, so they were against me. That's okay. It's still ORB is positive, but it lost some of its shine. So I'm glad we double tested it, double checked it. Nancy went through it. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that uh, someone else looks at it before me. And so my apologies. I'll send a note out explaining that. And that's where we are. But with the 496 coming in, more more volatility uh, expected by gun lock. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, more positive about next year than ever. So we shall see where that takes us. Um, what else do we have there? Oh, we are running 4.7. I'm sorry. We're running update 72 now on trade station. There we go. On all the machine, all the machines now, including this one. That this is our code generator. Also, this machine. So we will owe you an update on Happy, on our uh, uh, proprietary indicators. We'll do a recompiling of all the most of the components, so that we can repack it, send it out to you for uh, for seven two. We have been uh, de- de- delayed that by design, but we don't want to be guinea pigs. We're not in business of being guinea pigs. Uh, and so a lot of people depend on us, on especially on the indicator side, and so we can't uh, we can't do something haphazardly. So that's done. Uh, aside from that, I'm going to be low key in the last week of the year. I always do. I usually do a couple of weeks low key, but uh, this week, this year, I'm busy, so I'll probably be one week only. So next week will be okay. The following week, the, fo- the week after Christmas is going to be very low key. The re- website will run. The servers will run. Um, we'll. Uh, the only emergency we have is that our certificates, our uh, HTTPS, will expire January second or fourth or whatever. But we'll put a new one in uh, uh, in the last week of uh, January. And for that, the server will be down. Oh, probably 15 minutes. But we'll we'll even uh, uh, you know announce that in the chat room. So. People know what to do. Uh, that's it. Uh, econ data. Let's go back to econ data. And so we've done this. Tomorrow we're going to have jobless claims. Retail sales are going to be important. And I think it's going to be strong. I think still people are using. You know, the credit card limits are high. I understand that. But uh, this is a uh, economy we spend, spend, spend. People will spend money even they don't have it. Hi, Greg. How are you, sir? Welcome. Uh, we started a little bit... Uh, few minutes late, but uh, I was running late myself. So keep an eye on retail sales. I'm not worried about ex, uh, ex vehicle and gas, the top line. Watch for the headline, and uh, it should be, says it's slightly down. We'll see. Um, not into prediction market. Uh, don't know that. Don't really care. Okay. Industrial production, uh, and then you always have uh, that's uh, Empire State, so that's New York, but more importantly, watch for PMI composite at 9.45. So a little bit busy. Don't forget, it's option expiration. No, it's not quadruple reaching. Admiral Esposito left one Chicago. Now it's triple. When he left, that, that whole exchange collapsed. One Chicago, which was a single stock futures. So this is really triple. We don't have quadruple anymore. So also, the 30-year yesterday, was it yesterday or the day before? When was it? Uh, tell you, this came in very well. Take a look at it. This was very good. Unlike the last one. Last one was a shake. Yeah. That drove everybody nuts. And uh, look at bit to cover. Came in 243. And uh, that's really uh, caused a lot of problems. Plus, I think I think if I'm right, um, if my memory serves me right, we were followed by a, a downgrade in our paper. Third one. They're always late. These, these rating companies are always late. Remember on 2008? Yeah. So that's the schedule for this year, this week. Uh, again, as of January, I'll have a, as a matter of fact, I just heard from Econo. They said, the, your calendar for the uh, for the year is coming. It's a, ha- um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, it's a b- 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 bounded, uh, bounded, bounded uh, book. So I could go beyond what we see here visually. Okay, so that will give us a little bit better view for following weeks. Let's go to charts at 4.56. Okay, 
Again, as I mentioned earlier on, just as a quick preview, note what happened today. I posted on Twitter four, and Tico put a couple, couple of charts in there, actually, here. Here's, let me show you what Tico did so we're clear on that. Um, of course, his numbers are exploding. That's because it's Admiral Tico. What do you expect, you know? Hold on. Here's Admiral Tico. Um, there we go. This is 1941. Okay. If you look at this, um, this was before the number. This was three hours ago. This was before the I mean, before the commentary. Let's blow that up. You could see where we were. It was a divergence, right? We're going up in prices. There's a divergence. Now, let's go to the same chart here. Look where we are. 90.45. It closed above all those levels. Yeah. Or maybe just tested high. Tested that high. Uh, 9004, no, close above that. 9045, so went above it. We're at three sigma. We're extremely overbought. Here's my suggestion get rid of some of your Bauer stocks, just lighten up a little bit. You know, it's probably you want to offset some of the uh, losses you may have had this year, take some profits. Okay, by the way, here also we're going to get to it. We rolled, you could see here. Oh, he got ahead of it. Son of a gun. Okay. So I'm a, I'm off a little bit. All right, let's 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 fix this. That's why this thing looks weird. Let me fix this. Sorry, I, I thought it was a roll. It looked like it was a roll. It caught up again. Son of a gun. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. Um, the, the chart looks slightly different, but uh, you know me. I'm finicky. Um, from Coming from... Uh, uh, neural nets, which is a subset of AI, your data is everything. So, and you have garbage in, garbage out. If you're not careful, that's more like it. Yeah, that's more like it. Three seven seven. Yeah, this is this is very very toppy. This this, this re regime here is extremely toppy for the market. So, let's go back to our regular uh, charts. Same sequence. Um, Icon oscillator. Yeah, it's not going up there. Advanced decline is not supporting that. This is your Max 7 moving it up there. Same thing here, even more here because Max 7 is even bigger component there. By the way, we put a chart, uh, a box up, a radio screen up on our uh, chat room to show top 50 names of NASDAQ 100 sorted by uh, 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 by market cap. Not equal weighted, not this chart. And one of the things I'm going to develop, guys, for next session, we're going to do a comparison of these two to see if there's any validity of a signaling. That means we're going to normalize. We'll normalize the ratio of equal weighted to uh, market cap weighted and plot that to see if that gives us a, uh, a, 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 you know, kind of gunning it up or easing off on a throttle basis. Anyhow, bottom line is we're not making... Uh, high readings here. Look at this. Even red trust is not there. So today was really a lot of short covering. The the uh, the uh, CI CIs pulled up. Winning is not good. I mean it's, it's okay. The va the value is not good. We still have some more to go. We hit what twenty seven. Well maybe maybe we're up there. We'll see. Let's see. Yeah yeah. Maybe we're up there. We'll see. But nice breakout here. Multi year breakout. If we go to Swing uh, and do a spy, for example. You could see, yeah, we're not there yet. If I put the dollar sign SPX, Dow did new, Dow did new. I see. That's all time high. Uh, DJ, DJI, DJI, boom, yeah, new high. That was all time high there. That's fine. So, and then here's your cues. Sorry, yeah, we're not there yet. We're close. So. One second. I gotta make sure I'm connected battery wise. One second. One second. All right. Yeah, we're almost we almost charged up. I just don't want to go backward. Okay, back to the charm chart. Um volume, yeah, ninety percent up. We're gonna get into more volume ratio in a bit. Equal weighted. We we talked about this before, remember? This was overdoing it, now it's overdoing it on the other side. Even these are hitting three sigma. Fairly close on NASDAQ. 
little bit more to go on uh, SMP. These are the symbols, by the way, if you use this trade station. Okay. Uh, there we go. There we go. You see that bump up? New high, all-time high on the DAGYA. This was really good. Russell, why the yield? The yield comes down. These are the guys who need to borrow the most. Uh, it's the bigger companies. So you had a huge run-up, uh, 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 sigh of relief rally type. Um, so, um, transportation is good. We're at two sigma. This is at three. Obviously, this shows what the bonds are doing because utilities are basically look like a bond, basically. Uh, VIX, you had 12. Everybody's celebrating the 12. We shall see. Also, remember, we're way down there. You got a 33 negative. You know what happens when you have a 33 negative? CI? Yeah, there's there's a reaction there. We, we, we have we have a little. It's not that we're going to trade to turn tomorrow, but odds are we have very small chance to go up more. Have a big chance to come down in uh, in the S and P's, which is inverted of that. So we have a smaller chance of this thing going to let's say eleven or ten. I may regret my words today one day, but as it, I see it here, when you have a thirty three ci. This is this is overdone. It should at least bounce back up in volatility and drop in the price. Treasury reels, we talked about it. Uh, they're not easing. Bond vigilantes are still keeping the rates up on the short end. Uh, fairly yeah, normal, eh, abnormal, whatever. But uh, you could see what's happening with a longer term, 5, 10, and 30 year. Again, you also see what's happening with these. So, They'll try try to get stabilized. The issue that Gunlock was bringing up was very interesting. I don't know how uh, uh, realistic would that be, but he's talking about 3.0. He's talking about 3.0 on a 10-year, let's say by next year this time. Now, he's got the vision to go that far out, and but you could see we were in those ranges uh, till about a year ago, or 14 months ago, September of last year. We had this huge steep climb we had. So, but th this is a fairly good number, but going to 3 0, we'll see. Something to ponder about. Okay. I get on 10 year. The trenders, holy macro. At all eights, eight up, eight zero. All eight of them. So, again, that's another uh, data point to think about where it says we're. Uh, yeah, we have another 120 points to go. Yeah, 100, 100, I don't know, 100, 100 points to go in the S&Ps, yeah. Here is not that much, 200 points there. But 200 points for this is nothing, yeah. It's, it's like a, another day. Yeah. So, um, as you could see, uh, we're happy with Russell. That's a strange uh, NASDAQ. is poised to go a little bit more higher. And not to be outdone, also, transformation is saying maybe we'll go a little bit higher on SPX. So we'll see. Maybe tomorrow, maybe Monday, I'll put a put spread on again. And then I'll wrap it up. Wherever it is, my short covering, when I cover that, I'll close it with the uh, time of digest. I didn't close it. I took some pain here. But at least I didn't give you guys a losing trade. So. Okay. This is another one. Oh, wow. Take a look. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think next leg is down. Yeah. Absolutely. And look, this is not, this is the, 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 the Momo is not keeping up with the SP1. This is younger brethren, smaller brethren, more active. It's not, it's not going to new high. We've been talking about this in the charts. At least Admiral Tico is. So make sure you follow Admiral Tico. His goal is to be 2000. He didn't make it for Hanukkah. Maybe we can make it for, uh, can make it for Christmas, and at that point, maybe you need to convert first. Yeah, so we'll see. We'll see he'll convert or not. But uh, uh, he didn't get his Hanukkah gift because he didn't get his thousand. But I remember two weeks ago, he was at uh, 1200, 12, 1300. Yeah, all of a sudden, he started posting charts and everything exploded. As somebody said on Twitter, this is it's the chart, stupid. Because I was wondering what's happening with him. Very hot. Here's what I want you to look at. Look at this high. 
actually look at in this sample. See that this high reading? Okay. Last time it was high. High it was here. You see what happened there? Yeah. And then for it with this. So the second one started to move down. We're we're way up there, guys. So if you're buying something, it better have a story behind it. You better be able to justify to yourself why you're buying it. Otherwise, getting long here is uh, not very good for the, your uh, the health of your portfolio. SQ. Oh wow, there you go. Hello. There we go. More data points. Yeah. While it's running up, get big boys are doing. They're buying the other money puts. Yeah. Next leg is down. Where and how and why? I don't know. We'll keep watching. By the way, thank you all. It's your help over years in and out that helped me to build this financial uh, laboratory without taking the investor in. Building these is not easy. It takes a lot of hours. But also, you, you need to have a platform where this is tested and retested and retested. And you can't just do that if you are in a uh, research guy. Research doesn't bring money in. So, yeah, so appreciate all you guys. From the bottom of my heart. Um, okay, we talked about SP2, probably the most, uh, the oldest indicator we have, or close to. Yeah, the other one could be IB levels, but this is the most predictive for short term trading. We do not give this out, it's not exportable, but you could see where it's at. Every time it hits these highs, we pull back. Good, that's what's set up. This is a big divergence, we just matching it up here. We already made our rendezvous point, and these are beginning to lead down a little bit. But I wouldn't read too much into it. I'm more interested in SP2. This is very, bullish, uh, very, very high. Not to say bullish, but bullish ex ex slash extended. We're up there. We're very up there. Now, part of it is also this one-day move. Also, you have expiration coming on VIX. You know, the VIX expires next Tuesday. So and settles on Wednesday. So this Friday, everything is going to roll. You actually begin to see the clo close value. I would not be surprised if tomorrow the uh, January contract takes over, uh, even though June has got another three business days to go. But uh, we, well, we rolled it. I rolled it yesterday because these two numbers were inverted. But that could have been the time I looked at it. And it was near the end of the day. Don't look at it early in the day. That doesn't tell you anything. But near the close, but it was slightly inverted. I thought they have started it. They haven't. At least the big boys haven't. But anyhow, no matter what you do, the values were in this range. The negative three, negative four area. When you get to this area, we're extended. We're extended up there. And uh, when you get to zero, that's the bottom of the market. You know, it, it's ready to jump up. And uh, remember, zero is up here. So if it rallies up, then, then, then we're beginning to drop. Right now, because it was, remember, it's a VIX, so it's an inverted asset. As this was rallying, this had to drop, and it did. And the value got more and more negative. Here, here's, let me show it to you this way. You could see, um, there we go, you could see what I'm talking about. As it rallies up, this is dropping. Okay? So keep that correlation in mind. Larry's, okay, 90. That's another proof. Yeah. Now, Early in the day, again, going back to Admiral Tico, we went ahead and posted that as well. Why? Because we wanted to freeze the time. Here, here's his uh, chart there. Hold on. There you go. You can see where we were. This is, uh, you can see a timeline. We're trading 4647, four, four, uh, 156. Four minutes before the, no, before the commentary starts. Or communicate. So... And uh, so, look, we went to 90, 81, and 94. Hello, look at look what happened. This was an incredible blowout of the shorts on the Russell side. So all is good. All is good in the Midwestern front, right? That's Chicago. Uh, now, what, what happens here? We have a uh, long here that's still good, although we're hitting bone Japan's. This was a long also. This is an EMD, which is mid-cap. Long here on Russell. And a little bit crazy there. 
every other bar it was changing back and forth. Why? It's it's a set condition. We're not moving it around. We're not curfitting it. And it got a little noisy, so it's gonna get an extra trade and eventually it works it out. And so it's still long. All of these are long. This don't ask me, I don't get it yet. I gotta ask Peter for that. Um no, that's it. Not going to a tiger shark here. Hold on. Let's go back to these charts, and then we're going to do uh, top ten, top ten of Nasdaq. Okay. Look, look at this. Yeah, we're, guys, guys. I mean, this we're done. This is way, way too high. Whatever you look at, this is way, way too high. Look at the tops. So this is the 50 bar, right? Yeah, it's a 50. 50 days back. We'll, uh, number of stocks above 50 day uh, moving average. This is 200. We're almost there too. Because remember, this have a different scale. But this is all. This is also relatively speaking, is up there. And look at that separation. When it separated like that, it was running. Uh, running of the bulls. Yeah, there we go too. Yeah. So for a moment, you you think you're in uh, 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 in you you uh, you're in uh, Madrid. That's the running of the bulls. Okay. Done there. Let's get to some. Uh, uh, I think that's why Mohsen is here. Let's take a look at uh, the swing uh, swing chart there. Yeah, I'm not going to go there. Right, good. Okay, and then, hold on. Anyway, let me get the uh, NASDAQ names there. Hold on. Mm-hmm. I thought I'd Google that. Okay, so um, QQ, hold on. Components, there we go. Okay. Again, I get that from um, uh, uh, the, the, there we go. Huh? No, no, I don't want that. Hold on, I want the components. Jack, I need the components. Um, holding list. I mean, there we go. That's what we want. So we're gonna bring this list over on this side, so it's easy for me to look at. No worries. No worries. Thanks, Dennis. No, again, it's a feedback for me too. It's a loop back to what I'm doing, yeah. Because sometimes I, you guys see something I don't see. Yeah. I've found errors. I've found a better way of thinking. I've found a, a better way of looking at the my my own research. Yeah. So, yeah, it's all it comes handy. Again, we do this in the chat room live, so it's not the chart, but. The, we can add a chart. We can add a chart, probably. But we we look at uh, that. That might be a bad idea. We have the room there. We'll add a chart where it shows the what, like a daily or weekly chart, how long the listing. So when I click, it goes there. Let me think about that. We can do that quickly, save time during the day. Here's Apple. All time high for Apple, pretty much. One ninety eight twenty three. Yeah, we almost got there. Twenty three cents. So that's good. Um, a little noisy there on the daily, but pulls up. It's not a three sigma, so it's got a little bit more to go. Uh, you're not going to see four sigma on Apple, but at three sigma, I would I would take some money off. The three sigma area is, if you click on this, is uh, 199.02. We're almost there. We're almost there. Now Microsoft was down today. Not a, not a, just much. Nothing big, but it was down about 78 cents. You know. 0.2 percent, nothing. But you could see where we are. It had a, it has had a great, great month, uh, and where it pushed past previous highs and created a new high uh, in in November. Uh, November was an excellent month for all these guys, all techies. So it's going a little bit sideways, but had a good run up. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know if I would buy Microsoft here, but you know, something to think about. Would I short it? No, no. It's widely held. It's not that easy. It doesn't move that easily. Yeah. Uh, it's also a dividend play. I have friends who've been in it for years. Just pick up the dividend. Yes, it's also appreciating value, but look at how bumpy it's been too. But all the time, they're clipping the coupons. They're getting the, getting the dividend. Okay, third one is Amazon. Um... I kind of expect it to be better, being it's in a in a we're in the shopping season, 
But of course, I don't think they're making much money on the shopping side. A uh, bigger issue really for them is uh, AWS. So, uh, also popped up a tad about one uh, percent. Um, does it look like it may go higher? Yes, it may not be a bad trade here, guys. Amazon, yep. So, and I would, if I were you, I'd do a call spread. Just do a call spread. Now, don't send me an email telling me what call spread you, you want me. We should do because then that's individual advice. Can't do it. You can ask it here, but not there. Okay. You, I, you can't get me into trouble. Uh, my life is too good. I have no uh, uh, plans to get into trouble. Not with the federalities, you know, because you don't want to do here this at six in the morning. Okay. Yeah. We can't give individual advice because we have PMT, the newsletter. I, I don't have full benefits uh, that the government would bestow upon me of. Uh, uh, First Amendment. Just like a lot of people don't have full benefit. They think they do. But in final analysis, they don't. And this one, I can't. It's got to be open area where the others can be there, or they can buy to come in, like a chat room, but uh, the, but they were not filtering. They can come in, hands recorded, and other people are present. Then I can talk. Otherwise, I am giving you individual advice while I'm not your broker, and nor do I want to be your broker. Plus, brokers don't make money. I have to look at your financials. I mean, it's just a whole shebang. These days, really, what's left of brokers is uh, high-end uh, Reg D investors in wealth management. And those guys can do it, but I can't. So. But then again, I don't know anybody there who's any good. <laughs> they they, they want to churn you. I mean, these, if you look at wealth management, I mean, I had some friends in L.A. who were very good up there in B of A, Citigroup, and all that. They're just turning it for 2%, 1%, 1.5% 1 a year. You tell them to pick for something. They're very. They call up New York. They're very, very uh, stargy, stargy, very uh, reserved. They don't take a risky trade. This, that, and so forth. Well, sometimes you need that blend. That sometimes the client wants the risky trade. So, um, so anyhow. Okay, Nvidia. As you know, we had a huge, huge run up here. I haven't touched it. It actually. Came down. Friend of mine kept on telling me, "What should I do? Eighty percent of my net worth is in Nvidia." I said, "I didn't put you in. I'm not going to take you out. Okay, but you shouldn't be eighty percent in anything. Anything, real estate, uh, stocks, bonds, gold, a crude oil. You can't be eighty percent in anything. That's against everything uh, we, we've been trained for. So you diversify a little bit. So how? Buy an index." Just buy Qs, buy SPY. You automatically, instantly, you're a diversified. So it's not that complex. Oh, I know Q. Really? Yeah. Really? Uh, my, and then, then at that point, uh, you know what happens? Admiral Tico comes to rescue on his white horse. He says, read some roomy, drink some tea. Okay, do that. Okay, Meta probably's got a little bit more to go. Uh, literally getting a little bit fed up with their ads. But there's nothing other than ads at Facebook. I mean, they got to get paid, right? So I slowed down a tad. Eh, I'm still probably Amazon is only my good pick so far. Avgo. A lot of news on Avgo. I think the debt is a little bit too much. This is Broadcom. And they did a lot of acquisitions. So debt ridden. And that's why you see a move like this today. Last few days because of the anticipation of the rates coming down. So it's good for them. Uh, doesn't necessarily mean their uh, uh, products are any better, but at least short term, their interest expense should drop. That means more EPS. All right. It's a good company. Don't get me wrong. Greg FT, my brother, used to work for him as a contract basis you know, out of their Irvine office. Or is it Laguna Niguel? I forget. It's one of those in Southern California. Quite a bit. And he did some microcontroller design. Um, Broadcom really made the internet come alive. So it was them on Qualcomm. So. Google. Yeah. Stay away from Google. Yeah, Google Google made some mistakes. So. Yeah. Tesla. Okay. Tesla had a huge, almost all, all production they've had as a... Uh, Recall, but the recall is software. 
You just have to download to UNR software update, just like what you get on your phone. So that's not too bad. But overall, I think the earnings are going to be under pressure. Um, this is from what I read and a couple of guys who follow it. So I look up to them. Uh, they're good uh, uh, money managers. Then Tesla uh, is just a pressure on EVs. As more EVs come in, the the um, the uniqueness that Elon had back then is not there. And remember, this gets a lot of federal help. So does SpaceX. So for a guy who wants everything, <laughs> capitalism, this and that, he, he he's lived. He, he's grown by government handouts. So don't forget. Uh, in terms of uh, and what he's doing with Twitter, I don't. I I have a lot of presence on Twitter. It bothers me how slow it's gotten. It takes a while to upload upload things. Um, but uh, unlike yesterday, three of my charts were not shown. On we we post them in two places to just check. On one account, I think it was uh, our uh, HAPDTS. Was it? Our, was it myself versus Tico? It didn't show up for like five minutes. There's no excuse for that. But you know. It, I think he'll get it fixed. He'll make it better. We'll see. I just like to see him uh, to have some moderation in there in terms of uh, when people are making, uh, I don't believe in full, uh, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? First Amendment. You cannot incite fi- uh, uh, violence and say stupid things and wrong things and, you know, be uh, uh, antagonistic to others uh, forever. That's just wrong. So, But maybe I'm more civilized than those people. Remember, I'm not from Wild Wild West. I go back 37 centuries. So that's my issue. So, but more power to him. We'll see how things are done. I like some of the things he's done on uh, Twitter, but not all. So he'll, he'll, he'll figure it out. But as far as his language, forget about it. That's him. You can't change that. That's part of the deal. Adobe. But for Tesla, speaking of Tesla, I would avoid it for now. Yeah, Tesla is a little bit on the sideways, there's no breakout. I like to look for a breakout. So I see price and volume is telling me it's going to go somewhere. It could be a breakdown where I would short it. But you want to have a see move. When test, hold on. Let's go back here. When you see this, this is tough to trade. The, I, I, this is just, uh, and you can't even put options on it. Why? Theta will kill you. So no, no. So I would avoid Tesla. Excuse me. Adobe. I think that's number that's number nine. Yeah, and then Costco. Adobe, I like it. I, do, I like it, yeah. Yeah, I just like the dailies. The weekly is breaking out. Adobe is not bad. This is expensive. Uh, I bet you it's beta is high. So I would definitely recommend you some call spread. Do not buy outright calls. If you Or you can buy the stock, but you need to be fairly wealthy to buy sizable size of this. Uh, but I would buy call spreads. So you, you're buying at the money and you're selling out of the money. So do not do not sell puts here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My friend on Tesla, uh, I mean, he's got some puts here, guys. He, he sold 260 puts. And you see this? Do you see this page? No. He's a Roman, so he's not purely white. He's got a little black blood in him, right? His face looks like this now. He wasn't ever like this. Since he since he bought, he, he sold the 260 puts, he's, he's all white. I mean, he has no color. Yeah, so I give him a hard time. I told him not to do this, but oh well. Some people have to burn their hand to learn a lesson. You know, Remember your mommy used to tell you that uh, the range is hot, don't touch it? Okay. My sister did that. I remember I was there. I remember asking my mom why. And she touched it and burned her hands. Since then, she never cooks. She never goes near the kitchen. <laughs> okay. New highs on Costco. That makes sense. New highs on Costco. And uh, at least this is, uh, you know, you can see where we are. Yeah. That's the new high. So, so uh, remember, this is stock split. That shows negative. Yeah, it's a stock split there. Okay, now, 642, I wouldn't touch this. Now, it's a little bit too late. Yeah, last month was pretty good, but not now. So it's a little bit too late. And you could see daily is almost three sigma. Learn to look at it from a sigma challenge standpoint. You can build this with your Bollinger Bands. 
Bollinger bands are plus two, zero, and minus two. You can add these. You can go there and add, put in two or three Bollinger bands, but change the inputs. You can do it by yourself. We do single channels, so it's uniform, easy to apply. The colors are uniform, all that. You can build that yourself. Or you can save it so it's ready to go. Okay. That's, let me look at Netflix. I'm just curious. Yeah, last night, uh, what's it? Uh, I think it was, uh, uh, I think it was, uh, is it Kimmel or uh, uh, what's his name? Um, Colbert had Tuck Flicks. Yeah, remember? Tucker, yeah, opening his own line. They call it Tuck Flicks. Yeah. Anyhow, this is a Netflix. Yeah, Netflix is coming back. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. I would I would do a call spread on Netflix too. We don't do option package anymore. We can't. I'm a, I'm time I'm time bankrupt. Plus the fees, the income is too small for us. So it's not worth the, my time anymore. I gotta pay attention. I gotta put my time where the biggest return comes for me. And right now running an option package isn't. Uh the problem with single names is a lot comes in. But occasionally you can find something. So you could go we went through what? Fourteen names now. There's AMD. And we found two. This is the ratio you have the work you got to do. AMD is good, too. I like AMD here, too. Yeah. It's got a little bit probably more upside. It is extended, but probably it's got a little bit more upside left in it. So, Okay. Now, do you guys have any names you want me to look at? Again, we'll go back to the probably my favorite company, which is Microsoft. Why? Microsoft, Apple did, too. Don't get me wrong. But Microsoft really, really change corporate America. Not our lives individually, but also corporations, which that's what drives all the innovations and future growth, uh, including Apple, started with these characters. So, so yeah, and Google right now is my bottom of my list. A very good friend of mine, she made a very, very bad mistake. She left, Microsoft went to Google. Told her not to do that, but oh well. Yes, she's blonde, but she's very bright blonde. So. But we all make mistakes. Any questions for me? 529, we kept it under one hour. Any questions for me, guys? Mostly, any questions? Any names you want me to look at? Anita, any names? You're good today, okay. Uh, sure. Thank you. Sure. Okay. All right, guys. Let me finish this. I've got to go spend some time with my boo boo. I'm worried for him. He's just been going through so much the last couple of days. Thank you all. We'll have a webinar next week, but not the following week. Okay. Between Christmas and New Year, no webinar. And we'll adjust. We'll adjust on the calendar so that you don't get an invite or reminder when we're not going to, uh, while we're not going to have a webinar. So I'll take care of that tonight. Uh, it's uh, it's two meetings from now that will be canceled. Thank you all. Thank you, Dennis. Appreciate it. Same to you, too, and your family. My best to Ruth. Thank you so much, uh, Greg. Will do. Bye now. <laughs>